So if you got a problem with somebody, you need to go to them. You need, you need to tell them what the problem is and give them an opportunity to repent of that. If they repent, you then forgive them. Now listen to me carefully. When you forgive them that, they will never have to answer to God for that in eternity. That matter, according to the word of God, and I'm going to share it with you in a minute, that matter is settled forever, both on earth and in heaven. The minute you forgive somebody who has repented, someone who has apologized and acknowledged something that they've done to you that was hurtful or harmful or offensive, the minute you forgive that person, they will never have to face God in the judgment with that issue. That's why, listen to me now, that is why if somebody comes to you and they claim you have offended or hurt them, don't act the fool. Don't sit there and justify yourself and explain yourself away and act like you've got all kind of reasons for why you did what you did and you were fully justified. Don't you act the fool. Listen, if I accidentally stab you with a knife, you're going to get hurt. You may bleed out and die. If I've done it on purpose, then obviously I did it with malice. But whether I do it with malice or I don't do it with malice, I've still hurt you. Do you follow what I'm telling you now? If I accidentally stab somebody, you better believe I'm going to say, Oh, dear God, I'm so sorry. Do you hear what I'm telling you now? The same thing is true. When somebody comes to us and they say, Hey, this hurt me. This offended me. This troubled me. Then all we need to do is respond as children of God. The first words off our lips ought to be, I'm sorry. I, I I didn't mean to do that. I was not trying to hurt you. That wasn't at all my motivation, and I am so sorry. You know how much healing there'd be in the world if people would just apologize? If people would just acknowledge? All you got to do is acknowledge it. Mm -hmm.